How's everyone doing guys? Cold here, back again, dropping out another video. Tried to change the intro up a little bit there, didn't I? Right, uh, listen to this, right? Uh, I, I didn't sleep very well last night. Uh, I've been up early. Uh, I did an interview this morning on talk radio at like 8 o'clock in the morning uh, about like the effects on prisoners' families. Obviously, I've supported people in prison and I've also been in prison. Uh, and even though I don't have kids myself, I've seen the effect that... Um, like that he said on prisoners and the children and crying on visits and stuff when you have to leave them and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, and obviously the effect that it had on my mum uh, when I was in prison as well, which is the way that the reason that I actually quit my criminality as some of you may or may not know. Anyway guys, um, I'm absolutely knackered, right? I uh, did the interview this morning, eight o'clock, um, and then you can't see it behind me, but there's a big pot there on the finger, uh, knocking, up my, knocking myself up a chicken, Chicken, leek, bacon, sort of casserole, baby new potatoes, peppers, fried onions, you know what I'm saying. Love cooking, man. Find it quite relaxing and quite therapeutic. Anyway, I was on Twitter, right? And I stumped, right? I follow this lady on Twitter, right? She's actually a solicitor, right? Uh, she obviously represents people at the police station. Now, I put some of, I've, I put the, some of the tweets at the beginning. Uh, and there was one, there's a couple that have just made me laugh, right? Now, like I say, prison, like when people are arrested for crimes and stuff, right? You are entitled to legal uh, advice. And I always, it doesn't matter how serious or how um, minor the crime may be, uh, always, always have um, legal representation. Never go into a police interview without a solicitor. <clears throat> and uh, some of these, some of these tweets, right? You'll see the reasons why, right? Because obviously not everyone's as clued up as you and I. Uh, some people get arrested and um, they're just clueless, right? So I put the tweets at the beginning, right? Uh, and then what I've done is I'm going to read out the tweets. Um, and she's on Twitter as at Mistress Luce, L-U-C-E, right? She's, she's a police station rep. She's a solicitor. So this one says, police interview, DC, Detective Constable. Uh, this is how the conversation went. So the detective constable says, and then you were angry and saw you attacked him. And then the she said, were you there, officer? And he put, he said, no. And she said, well, could you stop making statements as if you were perhaps just ans just ask questions? And then the DC just said, whatever. That's, that's just like a minor one. Some of these are hilarious, man. Uh, Pre-interview disclosure. This is where um, the solicitor sits down with the police or the officer investigating, the OIC, the officer in charge or detective constable, whoever the interviewing officer is going to be. Uh, so she says here, the, the detective constable said, I need your client to answer questions about X, Y and Z. Otherwise, he's not going to get out, is he? Uh, out of here. And she put, yeah, but actually he is, isn't he? And he put, well, yeah. <laughs> so that's just another thing. Some of some of them, these ones are not that funny, but I just find that she's very witty, uh, and like I say, she she talk, she's very funny. Uh, police station attendance, right? This was when she went to the police station to attend. She goes, "Me, can I persuade you not to interview my client? Is he is di he is a different race, build, hairstyle to the description given? You've got no CCTV, and he's been named by an unreliable source. PC, there's no smoke without fire." And then she goes on to say, "Are you serious?" Right. Uh, Pre-interview consultation. Again, uh, you'll be if you've been arrested, you'll be in the cells, and your your legal representation will sit down with the police. They may get partial disclosure, full disclosure, or no disclosure. So she said. So she says, "How old are you?" Uh, to this is no. This is to a client. Sorry, this is to a client um, th because obviously the your your legal representation sits down with the police, finds out. Like I said, full disclosure, no disclosure, partial disclosure. And then you then get a chance to sit in with your solicitor and talk about what they have or haven't got. And then she'll give you the best advice. Um, so she says to him, how old are you and what is your date of birth? Right? And he says, well, I'm 35, but I go by the age of 23. And she's just like, hmm, all right. All right, what else? Uh, police interview. PC says um, to in the interview to the obviously to the person that's been arrested while the lead solicitor is present. Uh, so you didn't throw a stone through the window as the witness says. Um, the person that's been arrested says, no, she's a liar. The PC says, well, I've got a print out of an email in your name two hours earlier in states. I'll put your windows through me. And then she said, I don't want my client to answer any more questions. Right. Um, then she, there's this one, right? My, it says, when your client doesn't understand why you're kicking him, 
right? Obviously, if you're in a police interview <coughs> and you are going no comment or you start to talk and give a version of events because you may not be guilty of the crime um, and you carry on talking and going into too much detail or whatever, uh, your solicitor should, but not, not all, there's sometimes they nudge you, they kick you under the table and it's trying to tell you to shut up. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so that was that. Uh, right, she was at a police interview for a breach of non-molestation order and um, bail for two domestic violence charges, right? So the guy that was arrested says, um, this is on police interview, says, I was at home at my nan's at the time. The officer in charge says, will your nan confirm that? And the, the guy that's been arrested said, well, yeah, she should do, yeah. So the custody afterwards, right, uh, at the custody desk, is asked for a phone call. So he says, can I make a call, Sarge? And then the sergeant says, who's to? And then he says, me nan. And then the sergeant says, yes. And then she, the officer in charge just goes silent because he, they was expecting him to ring his nan and just say, nan, can you say that I was at yours? Do you remember when I was at yours and blah, blah, blah. But obviously the, the CCTV and the police stations have actually got audio guys, yeah. I'm getting to the funnier ones, trust me, right? Stay with me. Right, she went to the police station. Um, the officer in charge uh, was, was talking to her and he says, I was born in 93. I guess you were before, I guess you were born way before that. Having a little slide dig at her. She said, yeah. And then she thinks, me thinks, you little prick, right? Because he's obviously putting her down. She was, at the, uh, she was at the police station again. The officer in charge says, by the time I was 22, I had saved enough money to buy two houses and live off the rent. And then she thinks, you fucking, you little prick. Right. Uh, police interview. Um, the officer says, do you understand the caution? And then the client says, ha ha, yes, I've heard it enough times. And then she just put like a hand over the face emoji. Right. Uh, police interview. Client says to her, Right, so they're being interviewed, right? Um, the client turns to her. This is obviously during a recorded interview in front of the officers. Anything you can can be transcribed and used against you in a court of law should it go that far. And she says to the client, says, can I just tell the officers something? And she goes, me, she said, she said, uh, no, because I have no idea what you're about to say. Client says it anyway. He could have stopped the interview, do you know what I mean? Because obviously he could have incriminated himself and it could end up putting him in prison. Your mouth's either there to defend you or it can put you in prison. It depends how good you are on police interview. Um, if you're guilty, um, it's widely accepted you go no comment. Um, if you are not guilty, people, I've seen people comment on my videos and like, oh, if you're not guilty and it's nothing to do with you, go no comment. No, don't go no comment because you never mention anybody. You never account for anyone else. You don't drop other people's names. But if you're nothing to do with it and it's, you, you don't know anything about it and it's genuinely nothing to do with you, then do give a version of events because if you go no comment, the police can charge you and then you put your hands are tied when you go to court because the jury can draw adverse inference, which means they can make up their own mind as to why you went uh, no comment, dropped a prepared statement or denied to, or remained silent. So yeah, um, so yeah, that was that one. Right, another police interview, uh, she puts in brackets, a very serious offence. The detective constable says to the client, were you present? Uh, the client said, no comment. Do you know X, Y, and Z? The police officer asked. The client said, no comment. Were you in the area at the time? The, uh, the, the police officer asked. The, the, the defendant said, no comment. Is this you in this CCTV still? Yeah, that's me. Psh, fucking hell. What is the point in going no comment to answer and say, yeah, that's me? You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Um, some of the things that they, she's got some very serious tweets on there like she's very it's like business and stuff but some of these things just crack me up you'll, you'll get to them down the line <coughs> after uh, attending for a voluntary a volunteer a voluntary police interview obviously she was there to represent the person for cultivating cannabis she said uh, I give my client a lift home he offers to fix my new number plates as a thank you police forensics are still milling around his house Detective constable comes out and asks, what are you doing? My client says, just ringing a car and carries on. <laughs> um, ringing a car is like putting fake number plates on to make it a ringer, do you know what I mean? Uh, the use for like um, making off crime, things like that, obviously. Buy a number plate, some dodgy number plate guys out there, I know one personally. Knock up a plate, 65 quid, no questions asked. Bang it on and then obviously you're cloning another car in another part of the country. And same make, model. Um, stuff like that. So he just said he was ringing the car. So that was that. Um, 
Client consultation. Him. He, he asked her, will I end up in the same prison as Mr. X? Me, I'm not sure, but if you have any concerns for your safety, please tell me and I'll make sure they're addressed. Him, nah, I just wanted to punch him. All right. Phone call from, check this bad boy out, right? <clears throat> right, listen to these two, crack me up, right? So she gets a phone call from her client, right, who's been released for prison from sh for shoplifting, right? She says, um, she said to her on the phone, this is a female offender. She said to her, can I get me property? Can you get me property back for me? So she says, the, 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 the solicitor says, what, what property? She goes, her, you know, all the stuff. Me, the shoplifting stuff. She's like, yeah, you can't have that back. She's like, why not? I've done my time for it. <laughs> Fucking clever. <laughs> Oh, mate, you got to laugh, aren't you? Do you know what I mean? Right, a client consultation, serious offence. Me, one of the men, I. she said to him, one of the men has been identified as you. Client, right, this is in the consultation, so they're not in a recorded interview. It's just the solicitor and the client having a conversation. He's just been dragged out of a police cell, um, and he's sat there. He's having a chat with her about what the police have and haven't got and the best line of defence reference. Police interview, no comment, prepared statement, give a version of events. Remain silent, right? So she goes, uh, one of the men has been identified as you. The client says, well, I don't know how, because I was the one in the balaclava. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word, right? And then she she, and then she and goes on to say, right, it's a no comment from you. Fucking funny shit, man. Honest to God, guys, yeah? <coughs> I don't know if it's backwards on here, right? But literally, uh, that's some funny shit there. Do you know what I'm saying? Fucking funny, man. I've put some of the tweets at the beginning of the video. Uh, like I say, she's a, she's a solicitor and she represents people at the police station. And this is why people, right, some of these people will have been arrested for the first time. Some of them will have been arrested for 50 times, right? And some people are just not clued up. They think they are and they might be on the street. But when you're in a police station and it's backs against the wall and it's like what you say in that interview or don't say in that interview. If I'm, my simple thing is if I'm guilty of an offence, right? I keep my mouth shut, right? If I'm tied in with somebody else, right, I keep my mouth shut. I've been guilty of an offence where it was the only possible person that was behind the crime was me, right? And I'll give a version of events because they're trying to narrow it down to me and I'll try to open it so it could be anybody, right? Do you know what I mean? And like I say, I've never, never dropped a statement against anyone, never dropped anybody's name. And 95% of the time, I go on all comment, do you know what I mean? If I'm tied, if I am arrested... With co-defendants, uh, which I have been previously, um, when I first went to prison on remand, the police were like, was it you? Did you make these calls? Who made these calls? If it wasn't you, we'll get them. You can go free. In other words, asking me to drop names, yeah. Um, I live by a code, so I kept my mouth shut. I went no comment. The police charged me. I got shafted into prison. I got hustled into prison. Simple as that, man. Uh, but like I say, guys, so there's many different things and outcomes and stuff. But say, this is the thing, you've got to be clever. Whatever you say or don't say, right? Like I said, if you're guilty or if I'm tied in with anyone, I'll go and I'll comment every single day of the week, right? I prove, I've prove i more than proved myself in police interviews when I've been arrested with co-defendants. Quite happy to just throw, throw my depths there. They, they always, never, no one ever doubts me, do you know what I mean? But we use the same solicitors and stuff, so people talk and like, right, he went no comment, he went no comment, he went no comment, right, no comment. Bam, jobs are good. And, uh, so, yeah, so... Like I say, there's a, but what you say, when you're at the police station, you're in that interview room, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law should you be charged, right? So that can protect you if you're clued up and you know what to say, can also get you sent to prison for a very, very long time. Simple as that. On that note, guys, I'm going to leave the video here. Let me know what you think about the tweets and stuff. Uh, it tickled me. It might, you guys might not find it funny. I absolutely tickled me. I'm absolutely knackered. I was crashed on my bed. <clears throat> and I thought, you know what? I thought I really, really, really tickled this. So I've screenshotted it and everything. Like I say, she's on um, as on she's on she's Twitter as at Mistress Luce, L-U-C-E. Um, solicitor, man. Funny, funny stuff. She should definitely... Uh, uh, pro they're not all joking tweets, you know what I mean? There's a lot of very serious ones there. There's only a handful of these tweets that I found, but I had to screenshot them and stuff. Uh, and I'm going to put... Uh, you see them at the beginning of the video, but they just tickle me, guys. Let me know what you think about the video, about the comments, and about the uh, some of these uh, people that have been arrested that are absolutely clueless. Uh, on that note, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Cody out.